Timeline by Michael Crichton. A team of history students have to go back in time to 14th century France to save their professor. This book has it all. Castles, knights, jousting tournaments, secret passageways, secret codes, uh, quantum mechanics, time travel paradoxes, and of course a big company that pushes uh, technology and uh, human innovation too far and there's an evil egotistical genius at the center of it. This novel is the perfect example of why I love Michael Crichton as a writer. It's fast-paced and it's so well constructed as a book that it makes it fun to read multiple times. This book is also a good example of how well Michael Crichton does research. You can tell that he's done a lot of research into how all of the 14th century world works. He'll have a scene that takes place in the rafters of a castle and in that scene he talks about the construction of castle rafters in the uh, 13th century, but he does it in a way that that works with what the main characters are going through so that it's suspenseful it's, it's educational and interesting, but it doesn't slow the story down. It just makes it feel very authentic. He does that constantly in this book through all the details that he chooses to make the scenes and the settings come alive. He talks about the clothing, the weapons, the language, the codes of conduct, the vegetation, the building construction. Like He incorporates all these things so well to where I really feel like if I went back to uh, 14th century France, this is exactly what I'd be seeing and experiencing. Uh, it's very well done. I've heard people criticize the book for characterizations and different elements of the writing, uh, but I think they're missing the point. I don't want to delve deep into a pers uh, the, the psyche of all the characters in this book. You just want a good action adventure story, and so they're perfectly constructed. Uh, and say, I think same goes for the writing. So in my opinion, it's the last published of the top tier Crichton novels. After this one, they all kind of went downhill, though Prey I thought was pretty good too. Side note, I might be slightly biased in this book's favor because it's a childhood favorite, uh, and I read it at just the right time. To, uh, to really appreciate the, uh, the action, adventure, joy of it all. So there's no way I can give this book any less than five stars.